The battle over the fate of Enbridge's Line 5 oil pipeline in the waters of the Straits and Mackinac has reached a climax and neither side is budging. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at 11. I'm Dave Llewellyn. At the stroke of midnight, the notice from Governor Whitmer to shut down the pipeline will expire. Now, just to give you an idea, Line 5 delivers close to 23 million gallons of crude oil and natural gas per day where Lake Huron and Lake Michigan meet. One of the biggest issues, aging pipelines at the bottom of the lakes posing a threat. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel shows us what led to this point, the controversy, and what happens next. Tonight, a pipeline face-off, Governor Whitmer versus Enbridge, a midnight deadline for Enbridge to shut down its Line 5 pipeline in the Straits of Mackinac. The company saying they have no intention of doing so. The road to this critical moment begins here in 1953, the state of Michigan issuing an easement to allow the construction of a dual pipeline segment that crosses the bottom of the Straits of Mackinac. Running through those lines today, is up to 22.68 million gallons per day of light crude oil and natural gas liquids, about 540,000 barrels worth. The line stretches from Wisconsin through Michigan over to Sarnia, Ontario. Relatively little attention was paid until 2010, when another Enbridge pipeline spills into the Kalamazoo River near Marshall. It's one of the largest inland spills in U.S. history. Cleanup continues today. The state estimated billion dollar environmental disaster sparked the state and others to draw attention to other potential risk, including Line 5. The National Wildlife Federation dove to the pipeline as a state advisory board looked at risk assessments. The footage and the board finding damage to the pipeline's protective coating and anchor damage from passing commercial vessels. In 2018, the state and Enbridge reached an agreement that would permanently shut down the section of Line 5 and build a tunnel beneath the straits to house a new section. Then, 2019, and a changing of the guard, Governor Whitmer assumes office and signals opposition to the pipeline. In 2020, she takes action, revoking the 1953 easement for violations of the agreement, effective midnight, May 12th. It's kind of like a landlord-tenant issue. You know, uh, Enbridge is the tenant. The landlord has decided that it Enbridge is a, th a threat to their property. Critics of the pipeline, like David Holtz, point to a potentially catastrophic environmental disaster were the pipeline to leak, showcased in a 2014 University of Michigan study that found the spill could contaminate miles upon miles of pristine Great Lakes shoreline, endangering drinking water, wildlife, tourism, and shipping. Enbridge argues the pipeline provides 55% of Michigan's propane and its shutdown would leave a massive propane and petrol shortage while canceling refinery jobs. They say the regulatory federal agency has deemed the pipeline safe and in a statement says, we will not stop operating the pipeline unless we are ordered by a court or our regulator. Governor Whitmer writing to Enbridge's president Tuesday saying if the state prevails in court, Continued operation constitutes an intentional trespass, and the state will pursue all profits Enbridge derives from the use of the pipeline after May 12th. And there is still a battle over whether the outcome of this belongs in federal or state court that likely will not be resolved this week. Meanwhile, the judge that is currently on the case has ordered the state and Enbridge to use a mediator to find some sort of solution. The next mediation session is scheduled for May 18th. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel.